What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, so uh, it's just a short video, we're on our way to Copa Wolverhampton to check out a Ferrari 458, uh, so the plan is to basically see about the damages, make a list of parts that we do need if we do buy the car, I've got a feeling it's going to cost around 15 grand just in parts, so uh, we're going to go down and have a look, uh, currently it's on £32,000, so uh, it's still within our budget, uh, so yeah, if it goes for the right price, we will be bidding, and uh, who knows, maybe in the next few days we'll be the owners of a Ferrari 458. So yeah, we'll see you at the yard. Which is quite badly bent. I might not be able to get a running for your loan, so I've actually put all our battery packs up pretty low today, so we've got them all on charge. No, see? that's fine. Them two in the car there, they're shaking to be honest. The hood's not too bad. There's a few creases here, you can maybe fix it. Actually, do you know what? Instead of fixing that, you might as well get to get another one while you do a proper job. Um, a lot of the plastics need replacing. So that's cracked there, cracked down there as well. These fans seem to be alright. Actually, do you know what? There's a bit of damage to them. Oh, track them, track them and snapped off completely. Yeah. few curb marks on this other way, that's easily fixable. Right, seems to be a lot of tape back here. Um, I can't really see what's behind the bumper. Fuse is quite badly cracked here and back here as well. Um, yeah, the back's not too bad. No carbon at all. I think it's quite a basic spec. Battery dead on it. Is the battery dead? It is. Yeah, it will be dead, mate. Yeah. I don't open this door because the ring's touching the door, so yeah, we that's going to cause more damage. This door, because obviously we took the damage shot from that side. We had yeah. to like push the wing away. You yeah. know what I mean? So obviously, try and not yeah, damage, damage it any, yeah. any further, sort of thing. But as you can see in the, the images, you know what I mean on the on the on the site itself. It yeah, does, it definitely does run. I actually got it running myself, so I can guarantee you that boost. Do you know what, the damage isn't that bad to be honest. Structurally it's not too bad. The chassis yeah, legs. Yeah. Actually, that's really badly creased here. Yeah, that's good. that's gonna be expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But obviously, it's, it's running on the bit of damage here as well. Sort of but I think most of the impact is taken on here, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. So. That don't look like it's been moved. Well, the legs are actually supposed to come out like this. This is normal for a Ferrari. I oh, said that's okay. what the design, yeah. No Not way. bent. It's just like that. Oh, I see. The bonnet. 
Yeah, it's just this bit here. So as I say, I've been here three years now, I have lads, and this is the first Ferrari I've saw in here personally. Like. First Ferrari? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Wow. So the back of the car is alright, structurally it's sound, it's just <laughs> a few cracks in the bumper, a bit of tape holding it up, but it's not really hiding any major damage. So that's not too bad. Um, then you've got the famous Ferrari engine. Let's go inside the car. Um, So, I don't think this car has curtain airbags or seat airbags, but the uh, dashboard and the steering airbags have been blown. Um, I don't think it does have curtain airbags. Bit of wear and tear in the seats. Um, not in the car, not, I think with this, to be honest. Oh, that's come off the side just there. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Might be in there, but it might be in the office as well, because obviously... There's something in there. Though. Does this car not have uh, curtain airbags? No. No? No. It doesn't have seat airbags. Hold on. I don't, I don't think it does. No, I don't have curtain airbags. No, I don't. It says airbag on there. Yeah. The I seats as well, I don't think they have airbags, do they? No, I don't think they do, because normally you have a little tag no, that says no, airbag no, on them. No, no, no. So it's so just the... Uh, like a separate triangular compartment here. Yeah, airbags. that just pops out, yeah. 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 It's just the steering wheel and the dashboard uh, airbag. This dashboard, it looks like it can pop up separately. Yeah, you, basically this piece here pops off and yeah. you can get that uh, redone. You can get the, exactly the leather redone. By the looks of that, you can definitely get that redone. Uh, you have to just buy another airbag yeah. and just screw it back in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be no problem. Yeah. So the last thing, is that traction off? I think right now it's in traction off, isn't it? So here's the drove uh, this car last. They had it, the, they had a traction know, off. You never know, someone, someone could have got into it and left the battery as well. But yeah, true, someone you could know, have, like, if, if, if that was tractioned off. Yeah, I think the traction was off, they must have lost control. Yeah. Well, the, ins the inside's quite basic though, there's literally no carbon at all. Hmm? The inside is quite basic though, no yeah, carbon at all. Very, yeah, it's, nice, very it's because it's an earlier model, 2010, so it's a very basic spec. Well, I'm what's, sure that, what's that stamp down there? What does that say? Huge flappy pedals. So the Ferrari does have the uh, carbon ceramic uh, brake disc. Uh, the rims aren't too bad. I think they just need to refurb. This one's actually in good condition. But the other ones have a few scuff marks here and there, but they're not too bad. I don't the diffuser is changing as well. Yeah, I've seen it, it's fully yeah. cracked. Fully cracked though, So yeah guys, uh, the damage isn't too bad, um, it does need the front uh, chassis legs replacing, the flitch is a little bent in the passenger side, um, but apart from that it's not too bad, it's actually a straightforward fix, it's just the parts that are going to be like really expensive, I'm thinking like £15,000, so yeah it'll actually be a good project, hopefully you can get it for the right price, who knows maybe next few days we'll have the uh, car, we'll see how the bidding goes. Guys, we just got back from the uh, coal part of a Rampton and uh, the damage wasn't too bad. It does have a bit of structural damage, but I think we're looking at about 15 grand just on parts, mm. maybe 20 grand. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, the work is not too bad. We can easily do the work to the car itself. It's just the parts are going to be like really expensive. So uh, yeah, we're going to we're gonna go back to the workshop now. We're going to have a little chat amongst ourselves, see what a reasonable amount is to be bidding on the car. And then uh, hopefully we're chucking a bid and you never know in the next few days we might be owners of a Ferrari 458. Guys so I'm going to end the video there and uh, we'll do an update video just uh, maybe in a few days time uh, after the uh, bidding ends for the Ferrari. So yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video.